Hello, my fellow YouTubers. This is Custom Comments here with another toy review of the Flame Toys. Let me make sure I announce this right. Kuro Kara Kiri. I don't, I guess it's a crazy name, but I'm, for what it stands for, <clears throat> Kuro Kara Kiri. A lot of damn money. That's what it stands for. Whew, I can't believe, I can't believe, I can't believe I got this in front of me <clears throat> right now. Because if any of you know anything about flame toys, they are expensive. But this one is crazy, ridiculous expensive. That's what I'm going to say Kura Kara Curie stand for. But anyway, let's look at this gorgeous box. <clears throat> and this is Transformer Optimus Prime number four. Um, I do have a six inch um, flame toy prime awesome figure awesome figure but look at this gorgeous box it's huge a huge box let me see can I and as you can see beautiful box I love the box Optimus Prime and show you some uh, accessory like accessories that goes to uh, axe one of the axes yeah so why didn't i put this on the lazy susan this thing's shoot shipping it over here they had to wait on the shipping box 17 pounds total but look at the gorgeous poses i can't wait to check this guy out this will be my most expensive figure in my whole collection and boy, whew, I got a lot of them. This one takes the cake. Uh, as you can see, uh, licensed by Hasbro. Authentic. Yeah. Very gorgeous box. As you see the poses. Oh, this thing is really heavy. Uh, the logo. Uh, and Flame Toys. Expensive ass figure. That's what it stands for. All right, let's open up the box. <clears throat> and we can see. Good gracious, about to hit my camera. And there he is with all the glory. And as you can see, some more poses inside. This thing is gorgeous. The box itself probably costs about 30 bucks. But look at this. This thing is gorgeous. Wow, that's all I can say. And it's still in box, still in box. And I'm looking at the size right now. It looks about, which we you know we're gonna go over all that. Oh, it looks about like a nine inch figure. It's perfect size, not too big, not too small. Wow, this thing looks gorgeous. Yes, so as you can see, sword. And this is the base that the sword's six in backpack or his flying backpack and this is the figure let's get this thing out and see how he looks is he worth all the damn money and here he is out of package and i must say i'm blown away i'm blown away with the um engineering that goes into this thing uh, the sculpt work, he's die cast, he's heavy. The articulation is, I was honestly going to wait a day to play with him and everything before I give a review. But the little bit I have messed with him, I'm so overwhelmed. I said, forget it. I have to do some type of review on how awesome this flame Toy Kuro Kara Kiri expensive ass toy is because he's all that and some. So it's going to be a lengthy review. So I'm going to try to get God Almighty. I'm trying to, I'm going to try to get through this thing a little quick, but it's going to be hard because it's just so much stuff to talk about with this dude. Uh, so let's get started 
uh, the best way I can. Let's try to go over some of these accessories. Let's stamp him back here a little bit. And God, my, it's just so much stuff to talk about. Um, I'm not taking the base out, but this is the base. And as you can see, it's a huge base. Cause this dude is heavy. It's made something like the three zero base. You know, you click it in and this goes in the back of him where you can get him in some jumping poses and stuff like that. But I'm not gonna talk about the base as much, but that's the base. Very big, but uh, gosh. And here goes the book and you, re you really need to read over this. Uh, it shows you all the accessories. Uh, this is an exclusive piece right here, that, that battle axe. So this one didn't come with that, but it comes with all of this, the backpack, sword, the holder, what you put the sword into, uh, the two flame swords, the two axes, a gun, uh, Two more faces, uh, battle damage, and a non-shield face where it shows his mouth. And, and here's the backpack. But showing you how to handle the figure, what not to do, what to do. It's a lot to this. You really need to read over this if you if you get this figure. But it, it's, it is awesome. I'm blown away. I was cursing myself of how much this thing costs and then um, I actually bought it. But in hand, I understand. A port didn't know it. In hand, didn't understand. Okay. And it's showing you, you no know, all the articulation side to side. The leg, foot, and all uh, the gimmick for the sword. It's it's just mind boggling. So damn awesome. Man, oh my God! But we're gonna try to go get over this thing. We're gonna get, we're gonna try to get through it. We're gonna try to get through it. And <clears throat> let me get a shout out to Man Cave. <clears throat> it's funny that uh the person I bought it from ended up being a toy uh, reviewer too, which he's into quarter scale um, uh, statues now. You have to really, it's man cave. So check out his channel. I looked at a big ass bang he got. Sick, sick. But <clears throat> we end up chatting back and forth. But very cool guy. Uh, he gave me a good deal on him. I couldn't pass him up. But yes, it's the batteries. Goes in the backpack here, as you can see. Uh, let me see. Three LR41 batteries here. And two of them goes in his knee accessory here. So his knees are light up, but God. All right, all right, enough of this. Let's see, let's get go, let's get it going with this dude. Let's go over some accessories before we go over some stuff with him. I'm trying to go as fast as he got so much stuff. And I, do, I did take um, some stuff out of package, as you can see. Let me go back with this. It was loaded. I already took some stuff out. And I'm going to dump all of that right here. There's so much stuff, man. That would be the easiest way to hurry up and get through this. Okay. God, this thing is heavy. You can feel the die cast in this thing. <clears throat> man came and told me. I asked him. I said, why does this damn thing cost so much? I mean, it's no better than the three zero. And he told me, when you get it in hand, you'll feel the quality difference. I'm not asking no more questions. So, you get two of these battle axes. Look at the paint. Look at the paint on this thing. Look at the detail. Beautiful. Two of these. You get, <clears throat> um, I guess this is a weapon holding hand. Very nice. A stretched out hand. You get two of them. 
I like the detail on that. Okay. Uh, you get two. Let me see. Well, uh, maybe not. No, I swear you got another one of these. Okay, you get these two hands. I think these are weapon holding hands too. Damn. Oh, uh, no mind. I found it. Damn, so much stuff. These two. I'm also on grabby hands. These two, I like these hands. Two of them. You get uh, two pointing hands. You know the Optimus Prime like to point. I like them. And two fist hands, which I got on. Okay, that's the hands. All right, let's try to go over this big ass sword. Let me go back. This is the sword. Look at that. This is the sword. And also a gimmick. Let me see. Look at that. Very nice pull back. Push up. Very nice gimmick. You also get a sword, the base with the sword. You can stand in. Got the auto box. Symbol. Very nice. It's just sword in here. Like that. Very cool. You get this gun. Which, god dang me, you can pull it out. Uh, I think I Did y'all see? Okay, pull this down. So that's very cool. Let me make sure... I don't think you pull down. Uh, pull this out. I hadn't read all the damn directions. I'm so excited. <laughs> but look at that. That's cool. It really looks like this will come out somehow. Don't know for sure. Uh, maybe not. I, don't want to, I can't spend too much time on one thing because it's just so much shit. Okay, and you see the gun. Um, two flaming swords. It's uh, translucent. I do like how these look. Very nice. Got that one piece of flip fold down. And you see this right here. And I'll show you what's that for later in the review but yeah I'll show you what that's for this right part right here um, two of these god damn man okay um, and you get this awesome backpack very awesome backpack and it folds and I'll show you why it folds and this keeps coming off a little bit let me see let's get this back on there it go snapping in and you see it's very posable maneuverable the jet pack you see that very nice this goes on this piece goes on his back and I'll show you what's up with that too Cause we're gonna load this dude up with weapons. But first we have to go over to articulation. That's the backpack, okay? You can fold them wings in. Okay. So as you see everything over here, okay, did I leave out anything? I don't think so. I'm at 10 minutes right now. Okay. I, I guess I'm doing pretty good. I don't wanna go over 20 minutes. All right. So articulation. Let me see. God, this makes me nervous. Like I said about the damn three zeros, it's intimidating with all this stuff on it, man. Okay, as you can see, we're gonna go. Let me step this back. I'm trying to step this back. Okay, let me see. All right, let's see. All right, shoulder hinge. 
go up this much and you pull these up or you can go higher i believe yes you can you go stupid higher as you can see god damn man i want to go back with this thing let's take it back okay as you can see the shoulder hands you go way up way up you see the damn <laughs> uh, exhaust pipes you see go way up okay come back down with that and uh and you see that's how you go up higher too just put that flap up like that so many damn pieces man damn it's intimidating i swear it is you get a bicep swivel you get a and it is double jointed elbow it's a bulky figure man look at it and it's die cast you see that's just more to give you more range and stuff okay and i think you can swivel this too yes you can that part too and the pivot shit okay let's move this out of the way this all is back okay the pivot you see the wrist it's on a, a peg but, and but you also have this part right here they give you more range see that this part right here so but look at this when you uh pivot I'm bring the camera in. When you pivot, look at this. That's sick. That's fucking sick. And you have a butterfly. You see this? You have a butterfly. Where else go back? There's so much stuff on here. You get a butterfly. See, come across his chest. And this is a bulky figure, man. Damn. Just hard to do this with a damn iPhone. I need a real camera. But uh yeah, so that's his uh articulation in the arms and the waist. You can turn this. Look at this. When you turn it, it automatically maneuvers for you to turn it. Crazy. And they hit. It's on a pig, I believe. You get mad range out of that. So let's look at this. Down. As you can see. Up. Get mad expression side to side. So that's great. <clears throat> okay. Let's move his arms out. Or he can, you see he has a thigh swivel. And you can see that mechanism right there thigh swivel you can also move these out the way too see look at that when you start taking his legs out move these out the way <clears throat> move this up this piece right here up tilt go way way out like that the splits so prime can do the splits okay and you bring this back down. And let's get this butt standing back up. Uh, upper torso. You see that right there? And you get the a waist tour down too. So you can go back to pretty far. <clears throat> so, and you can move these out the way too. As you can see. I mean, all the mechanism and stuff. Look at this thing. It's God almighty, man. Go back. There, you go forward that much. So look at that. I thought, oh my God, 3A, 3-0, whatever, is badass, but it doesn't have anything on this thing. Uh, the knees. Let's show you how the knees work. Uh, look at that. Double jointed knees. Look how clunky. Look how big this thing is. 
And look how it does when you bend the knee. Look at this. I want you to see this. Look at this. Is that awesome? The way it hides stuff like a real mechanical robot or something. The, the, um, the tires sinking in and they don't, they not roll. They don't roll, okay? But yeah, I like how that goes in and just, oh my, it's just engineering. That's why this thing costs so much. That's exactly why he costs so much. I just, it's, it's ridiculous. And so you seen the thigh swivel. So I think that's it. Okay, the leg, the feet. You can pull it down more like that to get more range. And goes up like this. See that? Pull it down and pull it up to get more range. You got an awesome foot swivel. And these flaps are just, they just lose because when you know you uh pivot, you don't have to move them out the way they automatically fall back in place. I do like that. I thought I wouldn't, but I do. And, okay. And that is it for the articulation. I think I covered everything. This thing is sick. It's heavy too, man. And I do like the size of it. I do like the size of it. I thought it was gonna be a little small for a the for the money, but mm -mm. it's perfect. Perfect. So and I do have the batteries all set up in this guy. Okay. So let's get all this straightened. Okay. And let's see how this dude. We want to get all the weapons on him too. This thing is sick, man. It's sick. I'm hitting the camera because I'm so damn excited. I can't believe I got this thing. Okay, they say it don't work it like that, but I do it anyway. Cause these doors will raise up like this. Uh, like that. Okay, let's bring this up some. Fair it down. Okay. And after you get the batteries installed, you install three batteries here like it showed in the directions. And, oh, I like the lights, I didn't see that, the lights. Look up under, look at his feet. And you get a toe pivot. Glad I didn't leave that out, a toe pivot. My God, man, how they do this? Okay, batteries are all installed. I'm gonna show you how he looks lit up. I'm gonna, um, Turn this light off. Okay. Let's all step them back. Okay. And this little lever right here, you mash these. That turns the chest on. The other side turns the eyes on in a, in a big chest piece, the center chest piece. And as you can see, they're on. Looks good. Looks very good. You hold this up and you try to tilt this up. Let's see. Come on, come on, come on. There you go. All that lights up. Let me see how it looks. Turn the other lights off. Let's see. Oh, and as you can see, he's all lit up. That's not all, okay? That's not all. So, you can also, um, turn, just bear with me, people, bear with me. I'll use a finger pointing. You think you can get it with your hand though. Okay, there you go. Turn them on to, you can, you can, excuse me. 
Okay. Now he's all lit up. Prime is all lit up. Yeah, so very nice. And when I'm looking at it through my camera, it's it's not showing the true detail of these lights. These lights are awesome. They are very bright too. So yeah. Very bright. But very awesome. Okay, let's turn the light back on. And now this also you can take these side pieces off right here. If you don't want it looking as clunky, but I love it. And you can see that's part of his armor. And just slide that back on right on the side. I'm gonna show you how to install the knee batteries. Just pull out 40, side to side, wiggle it 45 degree angle at a 45 degree angle. And as you can see, just take that off, install that. Two batteries in here, LR44 batteries. Yeah, and that's this little switch. Turns it off, and as you can see, that's where it goes, right here, right here. So go the 45 degree angle, be careful. This, this thing is heavy, man. And I, I wiggle it in, there you go. So I'll turn this off, let's turn all the lights off. One, two, okay, now. All right. Okay. Whew. I'm tired. I'm tired. <laughs> and the other mechanism is the face plates. Did I show you the face plates? The face plates are here. You see the full uh, face plate. Right here. Let's see, can we zoom in right here? Okay. And that's it. Yeah, that's the light. Okay. Very cool, man. <laughs> Sick. And this is a faceplate. Right here. 24 damn minutes. I know I couldn't do it. Uh, and this is the battle damage plate. Very nice. And uh, I don't know. I'm already over 24 minutes, man. But to change the plate out, you pull up this piece right here. Try to pull this out right here. And I did it earlier. That's why I wanted to play with it. Oh, there we go. Pull the forehead piece out. Damn. Okay. And as you can see, you pull this piece out. And you have to get your finger up under here to pull this face plate up like this. And there you go. The face is out. This is the full mass face. And that's how you replace the face. I'm not gonna put another face in. Just because it. I just I just like the full mass face. But that's how you change the face. So we're gonna put this back in. Then we we'll put his forehead piece back on. And that's that. Camera. Sorry about that. This thing is so sick, though. Damn, man. Oh, sick. And when you turn the eyes on, this middle piece comes on, too. The middle piece comes on. So can we get it from the side? Yeah, that piece comes on. The other piece, 
all these kind of lights up. So, yeah. So eyes and this together. So that's very cool. All right. Did I leave out anything? Did I leave out anything? I want to do this guy justice, man. I'm not, I'm, it's just a lot. I'm overwhelmed too, so you got to forgive me. But yeah, it's, it's sick. It's sick. I'm sure I'm leaving out some stuff, but hey, if you get one, you will see for yourself. But let's get this guy all loaded up. And I'm going to show you how the backpack works. So we'll put him to the side right there. Yeah. This is the backpack. You can load this bad boy up. I'm gonna take the camera back. I take the camera back. Backpack. Um, you gotta open this bottom piece. It goes all the way down like that. Okay. Let's get the backpack on them. And I did have a problem trying to get both of these pegs to line up here top and bottom but I heated it up a little bit where it bend because it it really wouldn't it one the bottom went in top wouldn't then I get the top in the bottom won't go in so I had to keep I soften it up and that look like it's gonna do the same damn thing mm. let's see get your ass in there I'm already spent enough time on you. Shit. Uh, let me get this in off camera. We'll be right back. And we're back. And as you can see, I do have a backpack. The backpack in. So it's in. Let's get this guy loaded up with some weapons. Okay. So, to install his gun, we're gonna open these flaps. You drop this piece right here. Okay, see that? And the gun, it'll go in like this, I believe. So, that's your gun, okay? All right, we got the gun in. All right, now let's um put the uh let's put the uh sword. This one right here, the big ass sword. Let's put this in. This also go right here on the backpack, on this gray piece right here. Make sure you can see this. So you can um, see where it goes right there. Okay. So now you got the sword, you got the gun, all in the backpack. I'm, okay. And you have the jets. Okay, now we will um, try to uh, get them in a cool pose. Um, we can also, these right here, I said I was gonna show you what these pegs are for here. So whichever way you want to put it, if you want this blades looking that way or up and down like that, I want it going on the side like this. So you are, um, get your fingernail and push out. See that? And it's a peg right here. See? Make sure you see that. Right here, the peg. You can put this on the side of them. It goes right there. 
Move the arm up. Tilt that down. This thing is crazy, man. And you can... I'm just going to get the sword pick. Then shit. Damn pick. Back in. Okay, there we go. Let's see. Can we get this pick then on the side? And that's it. It's all pegged in. And you can swivel it. You can swivel it. But it's singing. And as you can see, Prime is loaded with one of the swords. Let's go ahead and go all the way. Let's put the other sword in. So, I'm going to push this out. And now the peg is out right here. There you go. Let's put this on this side. Let's peg this on this side, okay? See that? Hope you can see that. Get in there, but there we go. So now Prime has his swords in, his backpack. And all his goodies. And Prime is ready for action. He's ready for action. Let's turn some lights on. And as you can see, oh God, man. So yeah, oh, man, oh, this thing is just sick, sick. And then you see the hands on the hands are on the pig. It's about like a, a six inch flame, same mechanism. But yeah, this thing is sick. It's just sick. Crazy range of motion. Prime is all ready for action. He has his uh his swords, which you can tilt. Mm. Let me see something right quick. Be right back. And as you can see, Prime is all ready for action. I had to just take out some of that gray. He was losing them. He was losing them. All right. So now we can uh. Let's turn these lights off. Turn that off. Fold them flaps. And let's get him standing straight. So we can get some size comparisons. Cause I'm sorry for taking up so much of y'all time. But this thing is just sick, man. It takes time. Damn. Alright. Straighten up. <clears throat> So, this thing is crazy. I must say, it's crazy. <laughs> Let's see, can we get him standing straight? A lot to deal with, man. A lot to deal with. Okay. So, Prime. All right, let's see. All right, so now we have them all straight. I think, <laughs> I think. Uh, get straight, Prime. All right, let's see how tall this dude is. Uh, like I said, I'm still getting used to the articulation on this thing. I apologize, but I just had to do something on it today. T today. Because this is how bad this thing is, man. But, uh, let's get a measurement on him. Look like he stands about 
eight and a half inches tall. So we'll get some height comparisons. Oh gosh, this thing's kick my ass. This figure kicked my ass. Damn. Here's the six inch flame. Okay. One of my favorite figures. Here's Bumblebee. And I do think he stands a little bit taller than Bumblebee. That's okay. That's my six inch. Uh, he does stand a little bit taller than Bumblebee. But yeah. And I do have, uh, the, this is a 3A30 Bumblebee. Awesome piece. But uh, this has taken the cake. This prime is taking the cake. Um, the Blitz wing is huge. I, was, I got these guys all posed up, but you can get an idea. Uh, prime three zero, they stand they about 11 inches tall. Okay, they about 11 inches tall. So, and I do got them. Um, in a pose, legs wide, but that this dude is huge. And as you can see, prime. And I'll get the three, three A, prime. But he's not standing. But just to show you my collection, this still is an awesome ass figure, awesome ass piece. Oh gosh, I do got them all posed up, but this is about 11 inches tall. This prime is about 11 inches tall. So, um, they are, they look great. Three zero did a hell of a job. And I'm, as I'm looking at this one now, of course this is anime. This is a, a movie from the movie Bumblebee. And awesome as hell. You still can't beat this detail. <laughs> it's second to none. But the, but the articulation and mechanics. And this is not bad neither. Not at all. You see what type. He's big and clunky too. You see what type of pose you can get him in. But yeah. Um, 3A and Flame. They're, they're awesome but yeah this is all about the flame on this one and this is awesome piece man i'm just still playing with it getting used to it so, but i had to get some type of review out on this guy but he is awesome okay well everyone if you got any questions or requests i've taken up so much of your time i apologize but I'm not very used with them right now. I'm still playing with them, but I just want to say some stuff about it. It's just so much. Yeah, so I hope I covered most of everything. But uh, yeah, but that will be the conclusion of the Flame Toys. Let me see, get it right. Kuro Kara Curie. It stands for expensive ass toy. <laughs> yeah, so. Uh, that will be the conclusion of this Flame Toys Optimus Prime uh, premium version. All right, everyone. This is Custom Comments signing out. Peace.